Welcome back, everyone. Twish is here, and a very happy early San Diego Comic Con 2024 to you all. Today, we are going to be discussing all of the offerings for the upcoming Walmart Collector Con event that will take place on the Walmart app July 25th and the 26th. Each day has a designated selection of characters from various companies Hasbro, NECA, Mattel, you name it, they got it. So, Hopefully, fingers crossed, and I say this, we all know how this may go. This could be, wow, that was a really positive experience, or it could do the usual, some went up the night before, some went up a few hours where it was supposed to come up at this time and that time, and this was late, and use your training as best as you can, but I'm going to tell you that just keep calm, keep positive, and more often than not, if something is not available right off the bat, eventually it will be available. For those of you interested in grabbing some of these items that will be coming up, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Every single item that you see has a link. You have it early, so hopefully on the designated days of July 25th and 26th, as they're touting that they should go up around 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East, which we know how that fluctuates. Just be ready to rock and roll. Keep calm. You should get what you are after. So to start off with July 25th, bum, 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 right? <laughs> the opening day of our two-parter events and of course, it's going to be a retro carded Venom for the Marvel Legends line. A very sought after figure, it would seem, as many people have been trying to get a hold of this, ask when it's coming out. Well, there you go. It's going to be July 25th. It's a bit of a mix and a match of parts and pieces to create, I think, a more idealized Venom for a lot of people out there. I think this one will be popular. So if you really want it, be ready to go. Don't sleep in. Set your alarms. Be prepared. That is to say that it is online. It's not to say that these may hit stores. Sometimes they say, oh, it's going to be online only. And then later on during the fall, winter, they put some out into stores. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but fingers crossed as it has happened in the past. But for now, this will be online on the Walmart app as a Walmart exclusive. So if you want some, just again, keep calm and he's gonna set you back about $25. As with the Venom, you're gonna get a retro carded Professor X in his Warlord getup. He will be 25 bucks. It's the color scheme that nobody wanted. <laughs> Ideally, with the X-Men that this goes with, the gold and the blue uniforms, yes, the gold costume would have been nice. Does he have this color scheme in the comic books? Yes. It kind of goes back and forth depending on the arts and who's drawn it. It's purple cape, gold armor. You get the idea. Gold armor would have been ideal, but you can clearly say that they made this figure and we will probably see the gold version eventually. So again... July 25th, 25 bucks if you want the Uncanny X-Men retro-carded Warlord Professor Xavier. Moving on from Marvel Legends to G.I. Joe, we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series, the Night Force Vincent R. Falcon, Falcone, and Quarrel. Now, uh, I'm not going to embarrass myself and say, oh yeah, G.I. Joe Classified, I knows all about those. These are part of the Night Force. This is the Walmart exclusive these will probably be easy to come by eventually, as I clearly see most G.I. Joes being eventually easy to come by these days. 55 bucks for two figures. If you want some, I'll put the links down in the description below. Moving on to Mattel, we have their Masters of the Universe Origins, the mashup for those uninitiated. Master of the Universe meets TMNT for the Turtles of Grayskull. We have the Walmart exclusive Leatherhead. He's going to be 25 bucks. He will come in that usual Turtles of Grayskull packaging, and he looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Now, keep in mind, the head portrait seems to change between the really nice photos 
And then the photo that shows everything in the box. I'm going to say that the carded sample, along with the really fancy photos, is the head portrait you're going to end up getting. He will come with several accessories, including a removable hat. So again, if you want Leatherhead, you can grab him from old Walmart. Along with the Masters of the Universe Origins, the Horde Trooper Prime and his little hover robot this was teased this was shown quite a few months ago i remember doing a video on this so this will be available at walmart this is interesting it's cool it's continuing on the well i'm pretty sure that they were canceled at some point masses of the universe line even though <laughs> retail seems to be flooded with these things interesting color scheme lots of weapons in the box has little mini bots can't go wrong it looks pretty interesting. For Master of the Universe collectors, 25 bucks if you needs them. Along with the, this one's actually pretty cool, the Necroconda. And I love the color scheme on this. Again, 25, you're going to have the reanimated Snake Men Soldier. Glows in the dark. I think that that's pretty well done. This is one of those where I'm like, yeah, I'm very much intrigued here it has multiple swap out accessories it looks to have a cloth cape a la a little bit like old school kenner that's kind of interesting perhaps it's a cloth hood it remains to be seen it might be cloth we'll have to see but in any case it looks pretty cool and i like all the swap out accessories so again the necroconda will set you back 25 bucks now next up i wanted to include everything of course so this is an action figure not one that's immediately up my alley, but there might be someone out there who finds this interesting. This is the Mr. Beast Lab Alpha Lab Panther Mutators Mutation Chamber Chrome Exclusive for 30 bucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I tried one of Mr. Beast's candy bars not too recently, and um, it was okay. It wasn't anything, you know, fine guy. Does a lot of charitable events. Action figures by Moose Toys. Yeah, I don't know. Especially for 30 bucks. That's that's going to be up in the air. But like I said, if you're interested in this figure, you can pre-order it with my link down below. Next up, we have the Mattel WWE Elite Samoan Dynasty Pack of Three. Now, again, much like G.I. Joe Classified, I'm not going to embarrass myself with acting like I know about WWE wrestlers outside of a select number. But these following wrestling figures will all be available starting July 25th. So you can grab all of these, which look pretty cool, I guess. A lot of wrestling fans out there, I know. You have the six action figure, comes with build a figure parts. That's all well and good. And then every other wrestler here that you can grab, again, starting July 25th. All of them by Mattel. And it's nice that it's all part of a build figure. That's 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 kind of interesting, I will say. Next up, we have the Jazzwares AEW Unmatched Brody King. That's a six-inch figure with a chain necklace and alternate fists. Again, much like <laughs> wrestling. And Joe's not going to embarrass myself, but you want him. He's all tatted up. That's pretty cool. I like the tattoo applications on wrestling figures. If I can give wrestling figures any type of compliment outside of there certainly is a lot of them and a lot of people are actively after them, which is always nice to see. But that's pretty cool. If I do says so's myself and along with Brody King, you will also get yourself a Darby Allen figure. He's the guy with half a skull face. Again, that's pretty cool. I like all of the painted effects on there. That looks really nice and really makes these figures stand out. Back to Hasbro for the Star Wars The Black Series line. We have the Mandalorian Shriekhawk Trainers, which immediately with that name, I just think of a bunch of characters training, I don't know, owls <laughs> or whatever Star Wars space equivalent that would be. 45 bucks will take home this two pack. I just doesn't do much for me as as much as star wars isn't really doing much for me anyways these days but sure if you're a mandalorian fan it might be up your alley it's just kind of how many boba fett looking peoples can you have right <laughs> then from the critically acclaimed the acolyte show of course we have may the assassin which is part of the star wars black series holocom collection and again yes i do think that this was part of the show at some point i watched that show and let me just be frank that show it wasn't a good show why why wasn't it a good show was it because of all those clickbaity things and all that no the reason it wasn't a good show is because 
I didn't like it. Didn't care for it. There's plenty of things to watch. I could watch a million shows before I'd ever go back to that one. It was just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's just all of it's dumb. Just <laughs> it's just kind of a dumb show. And that's it. And then after that, I just keep living my life. However, if you don't think it's dumb, as I thought it was dumb, if you like it, I could care less. That's what all of this is all about. You like things I don't. Maybe we agree on some things. Maybe you don't agree that I like something. It doesn't matter. But if you want the toy, feel free. Grab it so you can take home this Holocom Collection May, which finally does make sense, right? The Holocom Collection kind of goes back and forth with the character selections that they've done. But at least here, this one works. The Hasbro Transformers will see the Legacy United Deluxe Star Raider Road Pig, which... If I'm not mistaken, I believe I had an old school road pig. I have to go back and pull that figure out. If it's the same version, same character, I think it was G2 if it's based off that logo on the side. That's pretty cool. I might get this one. Maybe if it pops up in stores. It's not something I'm going to pre-order. But I just like the look of him. So if you want a road pig, which again, that's a that's a pretty cool name. I like Transformers by the names of Road Pig. Next up at the $60 price point, which is a tad expensive, I will say, but at least you're getting a lot in the box. You have the Legacy United Star Raider Thundertron. So at least it's a little bit more to the box instead of just one. You're getting some multiple Transformers in there, which is always a nice touch. But let's be honest, Transformers, they're definitely getting up there in price. But as I always say, Transformers is one of those brands where I go, I don't know where you begin making these to have little bits of plastic fold into other bits of plastic to make a, a white tiger zord and, and then turn it into a robot. So that's one I just stay away from. I go, yeah, it is expensive, but that's also pretty cool. And I don't have the engineering skills to pull that off. So well done, the Transformers team. Then we have the Jazzwares Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron, Ahsoka Tano's 9-inch T6 Jedi Shuttle and three one-inch micro figures. That'll be 30 bucks. Hopefully, they update the photos for all you micro galaxy collectors, which here's a question for those of you out there. I started with that line. It got to be a little complicated for me. Every time I go out, I never found anything, and then by that time, I kind of got picky and choosy, and at this point, I'm kind of like, I just enjoy them. I love seeing stuff that I go... That's really well done. Like that new ghost is really well done. That is so cool. But then there are other things for me and Star Wars has kind of started to settle down, unfortunately. But they're doing a fantastic job over there. I'll give it to them. I know all those guys out there, they're really killing it. They're very passionate about the Micro Galaxy line. So thumbs up. Really enjoying what I've been seeing on the pegs. Moving on to July 26, boom, boom, boom. We have Super 7's Universal Monsters Super Cyborg Creature from the Black Lagoon. This one's going to be a little bit more higher price point at 125. These are very well detailed. I will say if you've never had one, if you've never seen one, there's a lot to it. Of course, kind of being more in terms of the Japanese Super Cyborg, all that kind of stuff. That's interesting to me, and I think for a character like the creature from the Black Lagoon, the box itself being called the Gill Man, that's awesome. It's going to be limited articulation, seven points of articulation, but I like the fact that it has removable parts and pieces, but I like you get to see all the innards and the, the guts, and it just looks cool. So if you are a fan of this type of figure with all the doodads and whatnots that pop off and show the inner workings of the Gill Man, for 125, you can take this home. For all you Pokemon fans out there, because you know that talks about Pokemans all the time, we have the Mudkip Select Vinyl. That looks pretty cool. For those of you that collect Pokemon, a lot of people write in and they collect this stuff. And I have to say, much like I collect the Mario stuff, I see the attraction. It's very simplistic. It's cute. It's fun. And it doesn't seem to be all that sought after, but sought after enough that, yes, it does eventually sell. But usually find what you're looking for. And that's that is always the best types of lines to collect. So in that sense, yes, you will have all these Pokemons available. You got Turtwig and you got Chimchar. I'm more along the lines of Pokemon Red and Blue. I can tell you Charizard and Venusaur and 
Eevee. I'll know all about those, but when it comes to the new Pokemons, no. <laughs> You're on your own in terms of that. Moving on back to Mattel, we have the second wave of their Street Sharks line. Now, keep in mind, with wave one, it was worded a little bit weird. They did say, oh, it's it's going to be parts of Walmart Collector Con, but it also kind of insinuated that they would be a Walmart exclusive where it turned out, no, it just all went up everywhere. So you had Amazon and you had Entertainment Earth and you had Walmart. So everyone had these things. And I would imagine that wave two will be no different. If you want them from Walmart, you can pre-order them here. But I would imagine, yes, these will go up everywhere, at least eventually. Maybe Walmart has them as a first to market sort of deal. Each one will be 25 bucks. Again, continuing on for wave two, we have Big Slamu, which he looks great. I'm a big fan of what Mattel is doing with the Street Sharks. I had a lot of fun with wave one. I recommend these. I am very much looking forward to wave two. How crazy will I get with the line? That depends upon you, Mattel. How crazy are you willing to get? Because I'm having fun with these anthropomorphic shark sea creature life all that jazz streaks previously known as blades they changed the name i guess i would say for obvious reasons but we'll just say streaks kind of gives it more of that 90s edge name anyways if we're being honest but he is the shark with the rollerblades <laughs> He will have swap out hands. Each of them will come with the shark cages, of course, and then each of them will continue on with their various character movements and chomping and all that jazz, which just separates these so greatly from a lot of action figures on the shelves. But again, you got big slamu, you got streaks, and of course you need a villain, and that comes in the form of Dr. Piranoid, of which I'm very excited for. See, I never collected street sharks, it's one of those things where, as a kid, you have to pick and choose, and you're only given so much when you're a kid and your parents are like, we're not starting a new line here. So it's fun for me to now see all these characters again in plastic and on my shelf. Dr. Pranoid is just one of those wackadoo characters. He's going to have missile launchers. He's going to have a shark cage. He's got a big old Captain Hook. And then he's got that button in the back where it flips the head from human into a fish monster. You can't ask for more. These are fun, dumb toys, and Mattel's really doing a great job with the shark skin and everything else. So high praises for me. If you're interested, yeah, definitely grab these. McFarlane Toys will have two offerings, of which we've already seen, but they've also already gone up for pre-order. So keep in mind, if you pre-ordered prior, you might want to keep an eye on that because that has a way of kind of getting sideline backtrack sometimes how the walmart app works sometimes is so antiquated it drives me insane but there will be the max mercury and then the vampire shazam again we've already seen these they're 20 bucks each you can pre-order them again hopefully prior pre-orders don't get canceled and then hands down i kept this one for the last i know a lot of people are gonna go oh i want that venom mm, whatever there is a certain TMNT, where they haven't had a lot of representation. It's the TMNT adventures that I grew up is from Archie Comics. I have been waiting for them to continue the line, and they're doing so in style with the new Crying Hound. And a lot of people, I think, are going to look at this and go, what the heck is that thing? Well, you had to grow up in the 90s, and you had to read the offshoot from the cartoon. The comic book did its own thing after a few issues, they went to Stump Intergalactic Wrestling, and you had the intergalactic wrestler known as Crying Hound. And then he was also El Mysterio, and spoilers, I guess you should say. But, yes, Crying Hound makes his TMNT Archie Comics debut in the sea of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a standout for a character that I have been asking for. Do the entire Archie line, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some wrestling turtles as were already shown off. But maybe if they show up in a four-pack, you know what I mean? If you're a fan of Archie, I'm just going to tell you right now, be prepared. San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. It should be a lot of fun. This crying hound comes with a lot of extra hands. Extra head portraits would have been ideal. Ah? <laughs> but hey, I'll take it how I get it, and I'm very happy to have a crying hound action figure. Now, do keep in mind, there are things that will be subject to change. Walmart did put these up a little bit early. Maybe prices will change. Just keep an eye on everything. There are some little people stuff. There's some cutesy little squishy squishmallows and such. 
If you want those, you can grab those too. We're talking about action figures, and I think that the stuff that we covered here primarily is a great example of everything that Walmart CollectorCon will be touting. So if you want anything, again, links will be down in the description below early. So please share the links, share my video, get everyone ready. It all kicks off 7 a.m. Pacific, July 25th, and then 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East, July 26th. So get ready for some Walmart CollectorCon action and be ready on my socials, Toy Shiz. We're gonna have lots of San Diego Comic-Con coverage. It should be a blast. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Walmart CollectorCon. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I have to say, Walmart, as many problems as we've had in the past with pre-ordering and everything else, doing it for one to two days as opposed to six weeks every Friday at 6 a.m. in the morning for me on the West Coast. What are you doing, Targets? <laughs> What was that? So what did they do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.